Speaking of which, I did a show in Texas last month, and after the show, this was in a little little town outside of Houston, and a guy came up to me and he says, why did your people kill our Lord? <laughs> and I said, because the motherfucker had it coming. <laughs> Tell the truth and move on, move forward. Uh, okay. Introducing a song there or something? <laughs> Let's take it back to 1973. Many of you were jumping rope in the schoolyard then. I think I was selling dope in the schoolyard. <laughs> but um, this is a song that the Jew Boys uh, put together right after uh, we just were organized the band in Nashville that year, 73. And we played it. One of our first shows in upstate New York at the University of Buffalo. And um, it was halfway through the song that a crowd of, uh, shall we say, uh, cranked up lesbians attacked the stage. And they began wrecking all the equipment and fighting with the Jew boys. And they were winning. <laughs> so the campus police were called. And they gave us a protective escort off the campus. <laughs> it was about two or three months later, I get an award from the National Organization for Women, the uh, Male Chauvinist Pig of the Year Award, 1973. <laughs> An award I'm still very proud of. But anyway, here's the song. You uppity women, I don't understand why you gotta go and try to act like a man. But before you make your weekly visit to the shrink, you better occupy the kitchen, liberate the sink, get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. That's what I to my baby said. Woman's liberation, it's going to your hand. Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Early every morning here out on the streets Passing out the pamphlets they're going to meet You gave up your maiden form for Lent Now the front of your dress has an air scoop vent Every single great man who's ever come along Had a little woman always telling him he's wrong Eve said to Adam, here's an apple you hot And Delilah defoliated Samson's moss Get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Mean minded harpies are breaking all the laws, tearing up the girdles and burning up the bras. Now the air is dirty and the sex is clean. And your coffee makes my hair turn green. So damn emancipated in your mind and your body, I'm gonna have to cancel all your lessons in karate. You can't love a maid, a male shopping is. You better cross me off of your shopping list. Get your biscuits in the oven and your bonds in the bed. That's what I tell my baby said. Woman's liberation, it's a going in our hand. Get your biscuits in the oven and your bonds. touring with Bob Dylan. You, you all have heard of Bob Dylan? Uh, right. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, uh, this was 1975, <laughs> and um, we took a month off of, from the Rolling Thunder Review, and I was in Los Angeles at a bar called The Troubadour. Now, has anybody here ever been to The Troubadour, a music bar? No? We have. This is a very cosmopolitan crowd. And I'll tell you, Whoa. it takes a genius audience to make a genius performance. <laughs> at any rate, um, I was at the bar that night, and uh, at the Troubadour, I was drinking, I think then I was drinking Diet Hemlock. And a guy comes in wearing this straw 
riverboat gambler's hat, uh, cowboy style hat, and he had a, a little red uh, facial hair, a little red facial hair and a little red pubic hair. Which has never been funny, but I, 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 I don't know if this drink is now beginning to have some of So anyway, the guy, I, I said, look, this guy is one of these Texas singer-songwriters like uh, Ray Wiley Hubbard, uh, the late, great Rusty Weir, the late, great Steve Frumholtz. It's one of these guys. Maybe it's, I don't know, I mean, there were about 12 people it could have been, you know. And I was out of the loop, I didn't know. But the guy heads right to me, and he says, Kingster, let me, let me uh, buy you around. So he sits down, and he seems to know me very well. So I'm fishing for clues as to who the hell he is, which singer-songwriter he is. And he's not giving me any, but he's very friendly, intimate guy, you know. He keeps buying the rounds. He says, Kingster, come here. And we go to the uh, little politician's room, and we snort a long line of Peruvian marching powder. 1976, you know. We, we come back to the bar and we're drinking some more. And, and now it's, you know, it's kind of past the point where I can ask him who he is, you know. I mean, I've kind of, it would be a social embarrassment to ask him. But I'm bothered, my conscience is bothering me that I don't know the truth. So at some point in the evening, I uh, turned to the guy and what I said was, In Amsterdam, a couple of years ago, I did a show where I was drinking something, and I was going over to a drink, and I just pretended I was telling a story. <laughs> the audience was like spitting up on themselves. They were laughing so hard. So I've tried to do that again. It's never funny in the second <laughs> So anyway, at some point now, after about 45 minutes, of this conversation and him buying drinks, I, I turned to the guy, you know, and I'm just, I said, look, pal, I hate to do this, uh, but what is your name? <laughs> and he says, Eric Clapton. <laughs> <laughs> how I miss the accent is another thing. <laughs> uh, but Eric uh, then played on, on a record of mine two weeks later, <laughs> and uh, the song he played, he, he played Slide Dobro. And the song is uh, the first song I ever wrote. I was just 11 when I wrote it. And uh, it's a little children's song. Anybody bring their children here tonight? <laughs> One thing about the Kingster, I never like to say fuck in front of a C H I L D if I can avoid it. <laughs> but if you know this booger, help me out with it. <laughs> Old Ben Lucas had a lot of mucus coming right out of his nose. He'd pick and pick till it made you sick, but back up and it rose. Just 11 years old when I wrote that out there. When it's cotton picking time in Texas, boys, it's booger picking time for Ben. He'd raise that finger, mean and hostile, stick it in that waiting nostril. Here he comes with a green one once again. All right, everybody. Old Ben Lucas had a lot of mucus coming right out of his nose. He'd pick and pick till it made you sick, but back again. It. One more time. Old Ben Lucas had a lot of mucus. Coming right out of his nose He'd pick and pick till it made you sick But back again it goes Once more Old Ben Lucas had a lot of mucus Coming right out of his nose He'd pick and pick till it made you sick But back again it grows We don't have no lovings in El Paso we don't. Uh, this is a song that ruined Merle Haggard's career and mine. Ruined two careers. <laughs> 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 we 
We don't have no lovings in El Paso. We don't go to porno picture shows. We don't slob our wives with our neighbors. And we keep our kids away from Mexico. And I'm proud to be an asshole from El Paso. I can hear as our sweet young virgins are deflowered. Be my friend. You walk down the street, they deep in tacos. T -t -t tacos. And the wetbacks still get 20 cents an hour. We don't wipe our asses on no glory. God and Lone Star beer are things we try. We keep our women virgins till they're married. So a hosing sheep is good enough for us. <laughs> Sweet young virgins are deflowered. There's a bird on my back. You walk down the street, they date an enchilada. Enchilada. And the wet bags still get 20 cents an hour. Them old wet bags still get 20 cents an hour. A ragged kid in overalls, he thumbed a ride one day. Told me anywhere you're going's on my way. But as we passed by Big Al's drive-in, his eyes began to flash. He was leaving Rapid City mighty fast. He said, I hope to God she finds the goodbye letter that I wrote her. But the mail don't move so fast and rapid City South Dakota Now we left her just a blanket of snow upon the farm And that don't keep your conscience very warm He said his friends were too darn country And his paw was too damn mean And there weren't no money pumping gasoline and her gentle eyes, the merchandise of dreams, the peddler sold her. Left her there alone in rapid city South Dakota. And now the reason he was going, I ain't sure I could say. Might have been the rodeo in Santa Fe. There's a doctor in Chicago. I know she'll be all right He told himself as he stared into the night He said, I hope to God she finds the goodbye letter that I wrote her But the mail don't move so fast and rapid City South Dakota And all her people treating her just like they never knowed her and the winter's passing slow in Rapid City. South Dakota.